Welcome back to Writing Done Right. Well, today we want to return to Audacity and just give you an update if you are a person who does your own audiobooks as the latest of two versions of Audacity. We now actually have an update to the process that we use for audiobook remastering. I think these versions first dropped maybe back in either April or May. Of course, if you are unaware, Audacity is a cross-platform audio editing tool that is every bit as professional as anything else that you might actually need to pay for. You can grab the links at their uh, website, audacityteam.org, for Windows, Mac, and they have the source code here for Linux, but you can probably find it in your distribution. I'm doing this video here on Arch Linux rather than my usual Linux Mint because the Arch Linux always rolls the latest versions of things. Of course, I think I'm still on 2.4.2, but it might be one of the, you know, 259 updates I'm waiting to install soon. But anyway, um, this is going to go back and replace the previous audiobook mastering video that we did with pretty much a supplemental update. So if you head on back to that same uh, page there, which is the wiki about audiobook mastering, You'll see up here at the top, they're still telling you to grab the ACX check and the RMS normalize. You actually no longer need the RMS normalize. The version 2.4.1 has a new built-in tool, which by the way, did not appear on their release notes. I did double check the release notes, it's not there. But it is a new plugin that is automatically installed in Audacity out of the box. It is called Loudness Normalize which performs the same function as the RMS normalized. Also, it appears as though we have a slight change in how we are adding our macros as well, in that you can actually much more easily set how your macros are going to record. So we're gonna first walk through this guide and then I'll pull up Audacity just to kind of show you what it's gonna look like. So uh, over here, we have our basic processes. You can see here that um, they did actually change the a little bit about how the, um, uh, the filter curve, it used to be called, um, I forget what this used to be called, maybe equalization. It's now called filter curve. So they changed that. It's the same application, they just changed the name. Now we have the loudness normalized, the limiter is still in there, and of course you do need to install the ACX check. Now if you guys are on an Ubuntu based running Audacity through the latest PPA, and my apologies for you Windows or Mac guys, it's like what is he talking about? Um, you might have a problem where you cannot install your plugins, there's uh, that's a known bug, and uh, there is a workaround. If that applies to you, shoot me an email, and I'll send you the bug fix for that. So you can go ahead and patch that before the the new patch is out, unless it's already out yet. I don't know, but anyway, uh, that's pretty much the same process. Uh, just note the change in the the equalization to filter curve, and note the the change in that the loudness normalization is now built in. So let's go ahead and have a look at Audacity itself, and I just recorded this little clip here just to uh, see uh, how it's, um, you know, just to see how this is going to work. I did not test this out yet, but let's just kind of have a look here. So again, under your effects, you can see loudness normalize. Uh, we do need to actually select something in our sample before I pull up loudness normalize. So you can see over here, here's the perceived loudness. So you can kind of determine where that is. Now there is a, um, a perceived loudness and there is an RMS. So you want to make sure that you're toggling that to your various button. Also under your effects, we have what used to be the equalization is not there. Now that is called filter curve. It is a little bit different um, in that we don't have, uh, we do actually still have the, um, uh, I got to remember where they were, factory presets under your manage, factory presets, and then you can grab whatever you want. Remember, it's the low roll off for speech that you wanted. We don't really have the option to set what the size is anymore, but the default should work just as fine. Let's see if we can do that. I want to see if there's anything else. All right, so that's that's going to work for you. Just go ahead and select that. You used to change that over to five, but I've noticed that this doesn't really make much of a difference. So there's that. Of course, you can still drag and drop everything in the same way you used to. And under here, your 
limiter is still where it was. So let's go ahead and start by doing an ECX check, which will fail because we didn't do anything. You can see here, fails to high piece, the RMS normalize passes, and the noise floor also fails. All right, the noise floor failing might simply be because of um, how I recorded it, but we'll kind of go ahead and have a look. All right, so the, remember the first thing you're going to do is you're going to do a uh, filter curve. We're going to grab our factory preset and our low roll off for speech. Hit OK for that. And the next one we're going to do is our loudness normalize, which is no longer requires a plugin. I've actually found if I do like 22.5, maybe 21.5 to 22.5, it actually gets me a pass every time. I did have to play around with that number a little bit to get that to work. And our last one is down here. We're going to do our limiter. And I use three as our limiter. And now let's go ahead and do our ACX check. So now everything is going to pass, pass, and pass. So our ACX system is passing. Now the other thing that seems to have changed to me a little bit is our macros. So I don't have any macros built. Let's go ahead and create a new one. So ACX, check. Now what we can actually do now is that I don't remember, and maybe it was there and I didn't notice it before, but what you can do now is you can actually edit these a little bit easier on the fly here. So we'll grab filter curve and it should automatically grab whatever the last filter curve is that I used. Okay, but what you can actually do is if you double click on this, it's actually going to pull the tool up so you can make any of the adjustments. Anything that you save is going to be automatically saved. So let's just go ahead. Actually, that's already it. But if you wanted to go ahead and change it to something else, you could go ahead and hit the button there and it saves. I don't remember that being a function there was before. Maybe it was and I just didn't know about it. But uh, anyway, that is something that uh, I've noticed here. So next is the loudness normalizer. You can see our RMS level is minus 22.5. Our uh, This is like our uh, perceived loudness, minus 23. That's the exact settings I did. Once again, oops. once again, double click this guy and you can make any settings. I am noticing that it's actually moving. It's actually adding the new things. I, I think that's because I clicked here instead of clicking on the end. So you might just need to move things up. So let's move our curve up. And let's just go ahead and click on the end and find our limiter. There's our limiter. You can see it's giving us a threshold of minus three. Once again, we could go ahead and do that. Go ahead and hit OK. Let's uh, undo everything on this. Whoop, let's, I, I, I undid too far. <laughs> Let me just open that guy back up. All right, so for my desktop, that was called Untitled Wave. So once again, we're going to go ahead and double check. ACX check should fail. So that does. Now we'll go under our Apply Macro, ACX, ACX check, and now it passes. So there's an update to Audacity. So version 2.4.1. Uh, as of that version, you have the new loudness normalized, so you no longer have to install the extra extension, although you will still have to install the ACX check. You can refer to the previous video about how to do that. So there's an update for you on uh, using Audacity for your audiobook, and uh, my uh, Synaptogy audiobook is available. I will go ahead and have a link to the Audacity links down there, and also the link back to the main webpage. So if you use like Kobu or anything else where you want to pick up that audiobook, you can go ahead and have a listen to that. Thanks for coming along, and I hope that we have taught you how to get your writing done. Right.